first of all, I want to thank everybody for being here. And uh, it's great to be here. It's great to represent Scott. Uh, I've known Scott. We've been law partners for years. Uh, before I get to Scott, a word about Toddy Puller. Uh, Toddy has represented the Senate District for 16 years. Uh, she is the absolute class of the Senate. Uh, she has been an inspiration to us. She actually got me interested in politics when I worked for her as an intern 20 plus years ago. And so uh, when you lose somebody like that, those are enormous shoes to fill. And then you just add on to the fact that Chuck Colgan is retiring. So I know all you folks in Prince William, you're talking about 56 years of legislative experience walking away from our Senate caucus. And at the same time, we have 19 seats in the Senate thanks to Jennifer's wonderful election. So we're right on the cusp of taking back the majority, and we cannot do it unless we win this seat. And Alfonso's exactly right. This is a seat which has had an enormous amount of turnover, an enormous amount of immigrants, and that's great. And Scott is a passionate advocate for people that are new to this country, people that are minorities, people that are on the margins. He's a passionate advocate. But one of the things that is going to make Scott a great senator is he also understands the history of the Commonwealth. Um, Scott's mom is from Franklin County, Virginia. He understands downstate Virginia. Uh, he doesn't <coughs> typify or stereotype people. Uh, he can work with people on both sides of the aisle. He's someone that understands the history of this state. Uh, Scott and I get along great. We don't agree on every issue. We don't agree on every issue on our own law firm. But one thing I know about Scott, if I was ever in a jam, and I haven't been yet, but I may well be the way I'm one these days. <laughs> I want Scott Servell speaking for me, okay? If I'm in a courtroom, I want Scott Servell speaking for me. If my kid's in a jam, don't be in a jam, eh? <laughs> and if I'm in a if I'm in a state senate district and I want someone who's gonna stand up and speak, I know I got Scott Servell speaking for me. Now, I'll tell you, my theory on the Democratic Party is this. We basically fight the aggregation of power and wealth in the hands of the few. Okay? That's kind of what we stand for when you get rid of all the other stuff. Scott gets that. And again, he's not someone who's afraid to go head-to-head -head with Dominion or the other big companies or what have you. He's going to speak his piece. He's not going to be intimidated. He's not going to worry about someone putting him on some far-off committee or putting him on some uh, crazy <coughs> assignment. He's got courage. And courage is important in Richmond because it's very easy to just go along to get along, okay, on both sides of the aisle. Scott's not afraid to tell the truth, and he's also an original thinker, and that helps. So, who am I introducing? Hi. <laughs> As some of you may know, Toddy and I, besides her being a mentor to me and getting me started, we're also related. And so uh, I, I've looked at it this way. This year with Toddy retiring, I'm losing a cousin in the state senate, but I'm picking up a law partner for whatever that's worth. <laughs> I introduce you the great gentlelady of Mount Vernon, our friend, your senator, Toddy Fuller. <laughs> 